knockdown number two of the fight. Emmanuel, just a perfect straight right hand over the top. That's one of the perfect right hands. But, you know, just he was just too strong. And you know, Khan was aware of everything, I think, but he just... Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing tiger print trunks, he weighed in officially 139 pounds. This young professional enters the ring perfect. 23 bouts, 23 victories, no defeats, 14 wins coming by way of knockout. The fighting pride of Philadelphia, PA. The current WBC super lightweight champion of the world, undefeated, Denny. And next is the opponent across the ring, finding out of the red corner. Wearing black, trimmed in gold, he weighed in at 139 pounds as well. His professional record, outstanding. 26 victories, including 18 knockouts, just two defeats. He is the pride, the son of Bolton, England, the WBA super lightweight champion of the world, Amir King. Once again, referee in charge of the action, Kenny Bayless, with the final instructions. Okay, fellas. Trunks are okay here. Punches got to be above. Trunks are okay here. Trunks has got, punches got to be above. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch him up. Time to reestablish himself as the number one man at 140. Time with a hard right hand. Consistent fighter. And therefore, but punching power. In those exchanges, Garcia's dangerous. He never looks bad in round one. Not He's landed some stiff shots. He's not going to beat himself. Amir will have to beat him honestly. Of Nonito Donaire a week ago in Carson Even if you're superior. Uh, but he's not using the jab too much at all. Low blow that we wish all fighters would make. Absolutely. Lead left hook by Khan. Okay. Maybe the most athletic referee in Nevada. He's universally recognized as a top referee. That's a very high accuracy rate. Guard the other way than 10-9 Khan. Khan is extremely sharp. I am very impressed with so much. Well, that was one of Tony Roach's big well. things coming off that might be a good idea. Earlier to the right hands of Amir Khan. He hasn't been getting hit with those punches. Doesn't match Khan with the speed. But he's cat for two punches at a time, and Khan can throw four. Hit Khan on the hip. Bayless observed it, but said nothing. <laughs> Roach wants him to throw. Garcia doesn't have really a straight right hand. There's a cut over the right eye of Danny Garcia. See now because that cut over the right eye looks like it over the right eyelid. See a butt. But sometimes speed that Khan is attacking him. And said also the pace seems to be slowing him down a little bit. Khan is not letting him do that. Garcia gave a little sign after the second round. Straight right hand, but I don't see that all that often. I've seen him lead with both those fighting hard, but when you see a guy do that already in the second round after taking a con does, but sometimes at the end of those does have solid punching power. And he did all a couple shots so they didn't land flush. Number of fighters who have and then when they develop confidence. Natural makes him not be able to handle the punches. Down goes there it is. Off a sensational counter left hook by Garcia. Sensational counter left hook. And they
Amir Khan throwing a right hand punch, getting caught with a left hook, followed through, and he didn't do anything wrong. This is just what happens in boxing when you have flashy changes. That's what where Garcia is dangerous in the exchanges. Solid amateur background, good pro. That punch didn't catch Khan on the chin. It caught him on the neck under his ear, Emmanuel. Hey, but I see if Khan has the same recuperative talents that he's shown in the past. Garcia with a big opportunity. Khan's knee touch. That's another knockdown. Two knockdowns Two, so far for Danny Garcia. Three, four, five, six, seven. Tremendous test now eight, for Amir okay? Khan. Come to he me. came in with great close, confidence close. thinking he could prove he's number one in the 140-pound weight class again. Now he's been down twice. Once in the third and once in the fourth. This fight is over. This fight is over. Khan doesn't seem to have the legs. But he's got the heart. He's got the heart. He's got the heart. Khan landed a huge right hand there. Garcia lands another big right in return. Khan just trying to block him. Oh, what a fight. Unbelievable heart oh, from oh, Amir Khan. He still is aware of what's going on. He just can't control his legs. He's still oh, bring hurt. Him up, bring him up. What an uppercut by Khan. Good left hook. Another left hook by Garcia. I think Khan needs to stay away from that uppercut. Garcia's catching him with that hook when he throws it. Don't push. Don't push. I declared the fight over. And since then, Khan has taken over. And now here comes Garcia again. Garcia is fighting a very measured fight, trying to take Khan out. Khan is still punching back, and with power when he punches. Now there's blood on Khan's face. Khan's starting to try to time the left hook and avoid it. When Khan can see the punches coming, he seems confident he can take them. It's in those exchanges. When Khan throws the right uppercut, and Garcia counters with the left, that he's getting himself hurt. but consistently winning. You have a new American star now as Garcia has a really significant win now that takes him to the top of the 140-pound weight class. This is not like beating one of the faded fighters he had beaten in his last three fights. A nice balanced out fighter with a solid amateur background, doesn't give up on himself. Now, here's the first knockdown in this round. Knockdown number two of the fight for Garcia and number one in this round. The third knockdown would come later. Emmanuel, just a perfect straight right hand over the top. That's one of the perfect right hands. But you know, just he was just too strong. And you know, Khan was aware of everything, I think, but he just couldn't get his, his balance so much after this. It becomes a knockdown because his glove touches the canvas there. And now the second, the second knockdown, knockdown was, was really a punch and it seemed like it wasn't that much of a but just he was just weakening at that time just he didn't even just blocking a punch to see him move his whole body off of balance because he was not that strong enough to hold up now what about kenny bayless's stoppage here i think it's a good stoppage kenny was giving him a long time every time he gave him a count he was he was asking to, uh, talking to him and he wasn't responding quick enough kenny bayless did a great job tonight as a referee and he's one of the best Meanwhile, Kenny Bayless was outfitted with a camera. Seven. Hey, you okay, man? Look at no, look out, bro. I'm okay. Yeah, that was the stoppage from the perspective of Kenny Bayless. 
And there is the celebration. Remains unbeaten. Khan has his third loss. A shocking upset knockout loss to Danny Garcia. And now let's go to ring announcer Joe Martinez for the official particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Two minutes, 28 seconds, round number four. Referee Kenny Bayless calls a halt to the bout. Your winner by TKO victory. And still undefeated, the new Ring Magazine Junior Welterweight Champion of the World. New WBA Super Lightweight Champion of the World. And still the WBC Super Lightweight Champion.